Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome to today's episode of Top Deck. We're breaking things down with an Orzov Angels list. This thing runs about 55% plus right now here in the meta. This list is from Untapped. You can certainly check that out down below um, in the description. I got a link there for you as well. And appreciate you tuning in. So flip me a like, smash the subscribe, stay around for a while because we got a lot of stuff to cover here about this deck today where I will break down the strategy objective of this list. We'll cover your boarding for best of three. We'll go play that competitive magic here in standard in both best of one and best of three here today in the streets of New Capena on Magic the Gathering Arena. Looking forward to that. And then we'll close things out with a little bit of a retrospective. So great ways to stay in touch. You'll find the timestamps down below as well as that other ways to support the channel. So thank you very much for that. But let's get moving here into our Orzov Angels list. So very excited about this one. Like I said, this list is becoming popular once again here um, in the new meta. It runs about 55%. Um, a couple of big things here to talk about is this key pickup with Giada Font of Hope. So here we got a, fi a Flying Vigilancer. Um, each other angel that we control enters the battlefield with additional plus one, plus one counter on it um, for each angel we already control, which is ridiculous. Now it is legendary, so you can only have one of these on the board, but additionally here we can tap it, spend this mana only to cast an angel spell. So we get some ramp um, into a turn four with, with Legion Angel, uh, which is very, very nice. Quickly, we can get to Lisa here um, as well. So a lot of great, great things here um, in this group. I really like about what we have for removal with March of the Otherworldly uh, Light um, as additional cast cast a spell, exiling a number of white cards from her hand, two less to cast, exile target artifact creature or enchantment. Um, Vanishing Verse is very, very powerful here. And then everything else in terms of the uh, Angel Tribal, which is huge. And then I like flipping this guy in, Guardian of Faith, if we need to worry about our board getting blown out. Um, but also here, um, we got Inspiring Overseer, which is the cantrip for the draw um, and the gain life, which is really, really powerful um, and big for us here as a nice three drop. Now, we have uh, the Wandering Emperor in here, which is a really, really good card um, and complement to the deck. We have the lovely Firja's Retribution, which is very powerful coming out of Kaldeheim um, and had seen a lot of play for a while at, at one point. And then we also have Lisa Forgotten Archangel here. This thing's got Flying Lifelink. Whenever a non-token creature we control dies, return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. If a creature an opponent control uh, controls would die, exile instead. So giving us some board clearance there, um, not allowing things to get in the graveyard, allowing it to come back, uh, those kinds of things as well. So um, all really, really nice pickups um, in terms of what we have here. Uh, with the Orzov Angel list. So it's really a mid-range kind of list. Um, it does pack a punch and hits pretty fast, um, particularly when we get growing here really, really quickly with some of these cards here on the board um, and makes a huge, huge difference there. The ability to go over the top also really adds to the value of this list. So now Planeswalkers, we're gonna move on to our sideboarding for our best of three, and I break that down three ways, aggro, mid-range, and late game, my friends. Um, so in terms of that right now, and in terms of what we have going on in this meta, um, key things to pay attention to are gonna be things like the mono red aggro list um, that's floating around. We have um, our lovely humans list. We got mono white aggro. Um, some of those mid range decks um, that begin to kind of find that blend is that Naya humans list. We also have mono green aggro here. Um, that's a very, very popular one as well. Here, what we wanna to start to focus on um, are things like Arkan of Emeria, just in case if they start to kind of really play a ton, like shutting down uh, any of the Naya type decks. Again, humans or runes, we'll talk about that here when we get, get over to the mid-range. Um, additionally, Meat Hook Massacre can be a big one to really wipe the board and clear you out um, in terms of what needs to get done there from that perspective. Now, as we move into mid-range, mid-range decks, again, bridge, Naya humans, Naya runes. We also have Selesny enchantments, mirror match here. We got Rakdo sacrifice, Jun mid-range. Um, and then additionally in the space, uh, we can hit things like Rakdo sacrifice, um, some of the control decks that begin to bridge into the late game and then Esper mid-range here. Um, if they're more creature-based, we'll continue to follow the same path that we were before. Um, anything that's got some of those Planeswalkers, we can certainly use things like Pivoting Needle um, here as well. We might start to think about Duress and go blank to pick apart their hands um, and go from there, my friends. And again, similar to Arkham of Amy uh, Myria, more creature-based. The Meat Hook's going to be the 
be the play for us. Now, as we move out of that to our full late game, we got Esper control, we got Orzhov control, um, we have Izzet control, Grixis control, tons of control decks, mono black control um, here as well. There, we're gonna start to really think about go blank, um, Arkan of Amiria and Duress, potentially Pithing Needle as well, to really rip apart their hands um, and control the control the match from that perspective. So uh, Planeswalkers, that's the strategy objective of this list. Um, across aggro, mid-range, and late game for our standard environment here for the streets of New Capena. You can certainly check out um, the tier list that we just ran as well. Um, you can find that down below and other great things here on the channel. All right, Planeswalkers, let's go ahead and move over into today's competitive matches uh, for best of one and best of three. We do play three best of ones, and then we will go play our competitive uh best of three as well really looking forward to playing this orzov angels list um, i was a big fan of this kind of tribal deck before um, gives us a good opportunity to take a look at some other things here um, and play styles uh, particularly within uh, this meta here with the streets of new capena all right so we will keep this uh, planeswalkers a little slow but that's okay we don't have our two drop um, it's really focused on hitting curve. I did like this here um, in terms of that, then getting the doubles between these two um, for ramping up for the other stuff that we may need um, in this deck. That's a great hit for us. So we will take that. Perfect. So now we can't go on that. You can certainly play here. The play that we want to make, though, is we want to do this. We want to attack in first because we're on Vigilance. Now we can play this, get our draw, get our pump. Huge there. We'll play this. Now that will tee us up really, really nicely if we can make it through and keep Giada on the board into Eliza here. So good news on this. Um, we can play this. We can go in, we can exile. Uh, let's think about how we wanna do this. Uh, let's go. Interest tapped. Let's do this one. Now, next turn, we could have hit this and then set us up for Lisa, uh, but that's okay. So now we'll see how they hit here. All right, so we got a real nice play on this. Um... Let us do this. There we go. Missing the land drop hurts pretty bad. But we'll see how it goes. Lots of Cathars here. Here we go. We can hit a few things. Oof. So we'll still get two of them. So the way we want to do this... Ah, we got it. We're good. We are good. Very, very nice. So very smooth play there. We a little chunky on the mana base, a little chunky on kind of the curve, um, but we did make it work, which is really nice. Um, and a great way to start out with our Orzov Angels list. On to our second one here. If you get questions or comments throughout today's episode, let me know uh, down below, or feel free to hop on the Discord server, my friends. So we got Bear Army. Uh, again, we will keep this because I got the removals. 
which I do like a lot. All right, mid range it is. Start with this one. See if they start their draws. Would expect a little bit of a counter magic here. All I got the three down. Take this thing off now. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. We need to get that guy off the board. Let's see what they do. Ideally, we play this. We can also play this. Let's see what they do here. Don't necessarily want to take three damage on that. And we also have to be careful, depending on board wipe, those kinds of things as well. So let's do this first. So no stuff there. Let's go here. All right. I feel bad for your mentor if that's your attack. So ideally we play this actually. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Then we can protect our board even more. We'll see. We can get there. Bear army. We've got a few things that we can do. Freya's retribution is better when we can nuke creatures um so we can save that double strike will certainly give us the match but we kind of want to build a little bit we'll see not enough to wipe yet Have to kill one of our flyers here. This, we didn't see control. There we go. So now if it dies, it will come back. All right, we're good there. One, two, three, four, five. We need seven. They need to exile. They can have it here. They can have it here. Now we'll get these back. Which is big. 
and what we needed. So, 14, not lethal yet. It's close. We drop this guy, if we can keep it on the board, it's lethal. Because we'll get plus two across, that's an additional six. So we'll be at 20 damage. They could have an exile. If they have an exile, it'll be a little bit different story. Alright, so whenever we cast instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell, new targets. Alright, so good news here is this should do it for us. And give us game. And load up. I've learned much during this travel. Strike fast and strike hard. Huge, huge damage. Very, very smooth for us there um, with our deck. Really, really nice. Wars of Angels. Great way to play around. On to our third and final best of one here. We'll go from there. Geostorm. We can play this. Gonna be able to do any of that, so let's do this. Next turn, we can use the Wandering Emperor if we need. Take this thing off the board. Now we have removal and removal. And we can decide on how we want to do this. We can hit it now for three if we want. Let's do it. Actually, it's only two. They might have, there you go. Counter, which is just fine. Do this.
down. We will do... Oh. oh, we don't have that. We could flip this in. And then go that way too. We can wait. We also have the Exile. So right now, um, Angels we control gain double strike and a turn. We have lethal. Uh, if we pop in Wandering Emperor and pump twice, it's lethal. So we have to see what they play here, and then we can think about how we want to play it. If they pump this guy, six, eight, it's not gonna be enough. Feel the energy of battle, then guide it like water. Go here. The other thing is we have Cave of the Frost Dragon we can pump too. Oof. Not enough. So what can we do here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough. Give us seven. Let's grab the light. You are not much of a roadblock. And we can do this as a sorcery if we want. Wait. So we got a few things that we can do to survive. So they'll get the flip here. Um, it's not worth protecting. Actually, we can, because we can exile it. So let's do it. We'll block. If we need to. We will do this. Try not to miss me. This is what you get for hurting my people. One, two, three, four, five. Now we still have Great Hall of Starnheim that we can use here too. We'll also have that ability um, to kill their creatures here.
Alright. Let's do this. Two, three, four, five, six. Not quite enough. Oh no! Ah, uh, what can we kill? Can only kill this one, which is too bad. Let's do this. Sacrifice that one. Not lethal yet. They can pump the werewolf and get there, which is a problem. Um, and with trample, they might get there. This could be a problem. So they have four there, so they can pump. Uh, so this will go to five, six, ten. It's lethal, we have to block here, which is too bad. Because we lose our double strike. That's a good game. And we're done. Best of one. So close. Just enough there on their um, Naya werewolves to really keep us in check. Um, unfortunately. So it's okay. Not bad. Two and one and best of one. Very happy about that. Nice. Ziatora. Awesome. All right, on to the final portion. Well, almost final portion of today's video. Let's go into our best of three and we'll go from there. Zebra, zeb, zebra, zebra, zebra. We'll play first. This we can deal with. Keep that. It's a weird combo-ish thing we got going on, but let's do it. <clears throat> Again, remember we tack in. We're lucky. Oh. There we go. Dealy, let's do this one first. Good old Esper. There we go. Uh, we will play that. Perfect. And the next one, we can get the Wandering Emperor in. Big damage. The other thing is we can pop our cave if we want. Now you've 
done. Hurts coming. My judgment is fine. I am almost there we go. We'll take their guy off the board. My power is for annihilation. Remember your training. So let's figure out how we want to do this. Our enemies. What's that give me? Two, three, four. I can pop if I need to. Generous one. Right now they can do three and get rid of Giada. Let's see. They can attack with the 2-1. A couple different things here. I guess that's that. This is what you get for hurting my people. Hmm. I'm not impressed. What happened? A gift in exchange for loyalty. Show them how we greet our enemies. I will get what I want. We go now we can pop one of the dragons if they swing in with both good minions are loyal and deadly We can kill both. Aren't I generous? We can kill both on that. Could put him at seven, but I would sooner kill him. Back to wandering. Can't block anyway.
Now they could have been attacking in with Tyrant here as well. Now we can do this. We have not hit critical mass yet on this. Strike fast and strike hard. So we can kill this thing. We can take this off if we want. Gonna do this. Kill that. Get that. So right now, we'll have everything on double strike. So they have to get rid of the 4-4. Now, they could have... Ooh, they didn't. Alright, do we have enough? Is the question. Get in, get out. Easy mission. Now this is a juicy secret. That will be game. There we go. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. On to our next one. So lots of control here. Lots of control. We're going to want to grab these. I want to grab those and grab these. Um, This stuff all works. Let's get rid of Guardian of Faith for now. Um, let's go down to one here. Any lands? 23, 21. You want to grab a little less. Go one, two, one. Artifact, Creature, or Enchantment. I'm actually going to drop those two. And we'll try that. There we go. So trying to rip cards out of their hand while still managing the board is going to be one of the abilities for us to be successful, I think. So, we'll go from there. We will keep this.
first. They don't kill it. Get a little bit more out of it. They'll do it on the stack. stripping out this thing's gonna be an issue for us because we don't have the removal that we need for this is going to be our planeswalker there are many secrets I don't I know something you Feeblements. Huge, huge, huge for them. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. Oh again, that's where we could get rid of that enchantment. Yeah, up in here. We could go after him that way. Could do this though. Let's see if they have another one. Get rid of that. Up there. Still have that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. board. I know something you don't know. that out of there. So we did that so we had to, so we can at least get some damage through on this so they can't ultimate. Would have had me if I wasn't so fast. Now 
Now this is a juicy secret. Now we go above. Look at that. Look at that pickup. I'm not overconfident. Very nice pickup for them. Years of training. For let your blade do the talking. No secret I can't uncover. Card advantage and deck advantage. So that's gonna be a good game. We'll go to the next one. Try it. We didn't get any of our stuff to rip rip their hand apart, which is too bad. Um would have made a huge, huge difference for us. Uh Meat Hook Massacre could help. Um, Wandering Emperor still is really good. A lot of the stuff that we have in here um, definitely works. We could play Pithy Needle too uh, if we wanted to. But let's try this again. Um, we just did not hit what we needed. So we'll give it a shot. They hit all the rate of Enfeeblements, knocking us out really quickly. If they didn't have that, it could have been a little bit different. Play first. Ooh, this is tough. We're gonna mulligan. This is tough, but I'm gonna keep this one. We'll go from there. Mainly because I have that. Just too bad. It's just a bad, kind of a bad start for us. Not hitting a one or two drop or anything. Uh, to pick their hand apart. Now if they play their flyer... Nope. Okay. It's good for us. Let's do this. Let's pick. Go. I won't let coming up. Thanks. I'll be taking that. Ideally, we take that thing next turn. Uh, let's see if we can get get a land here. We can go with our flyers. There's the ray. One down. Oh, it's a huge problem. They can hit everything that they need now. This is going to be a problem. Oh, we didn't hit what we needed. I want to go like this. Let's get a land. Oh, we're missing big time. 
big time. Slow down against the control. We're going to be in a huge problem now because they hit everything that they needed. stuff matters again still being hosed on the lands Four cards. Oh. I think it's a good game. We're gonna leave. We don't have what we need. We didn't hit the curve right. We had a mulligan. Very, very unfortunate there, particularly when we had won one match thought we could bring it home we didn't bring it home the boarding didn't work well enough for us we didn't hit what we needed and my friends that is magic so because it's always magical let's go ahead and talk about today's deck really really like this deck it's a fun mid-range list a good ability to go over the top control stuff can be a challenge there late game um we do have the pieces to deal with it we just did not hit what we needed unfortunately and not hitting the mana base Really, really hurt us on that curve there for that third one. So in terms of best of one, we did go two and one. Did really, really nice there. Um, in terms of best three, we went one and two, ultimately losing um, to the Asper Control or Asper uh, mid-range type deck. Um, just built up enough velocity. One of the things that this deck just kind of didn't wasn't able to keep up with here today, so unfortunately. So Planeswalkers, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Flip me a like, smash the subscribe, stay around for a while. If you got questions or comments, let me know. I'd love to hear from you down below. Um, great ways to stay up to date on the channel and connected. Um, and as always, feel free to hop in the Discord server. Love to hear from you. Um, stay in touch. Stay safe. You take care. Lots of things coming. Um, until then, we'll see you again soon. Mithras out.